The best way to recover from a crash starts with a project setup. When working with a new project, we can usually expect small crashes. And it can always be helpful to start with a draft model to work out and prove strategies. We have to reference our work coordinate system to our machine coordinate system to be able to recover and carry on. First, let's start by homing our machine. We're jogging our machine from our machine coordinate system to the corner of our stock. Let's make sure that the Fusion 360 setup work coordinate system matches the machine's work coordinate system. Now record the distance travelled from your machine coordinate system as your work coordinate system offset. Now offsetting from home position to WCS will always allow you to find work zero. So to find the work zero again, home the machine then use the work offset. Your tip of the tool starts at zero, so remember to compensate your Z offset for tool changes. Now let's talk about toolpath recovery using Fusion 360. This area was over machined, resulting in a void in the model. Using soft materials, 5-axis strategies can be developed with minimal crash risk. And foam is a uniform material, which can be repaired with minimal seam. In events where machining has not been completed, for example a power cut, restarting the toolpath from the beginning is not necessary. We can create a new toolpath that starts from where the previous one had stopped. Let's start by duplicating the existing toolpath, then edit and enter the heights tab. And now let's adjust the original top height to where the toolpath has stopped. This method will let you avoid remachining areas which have already been done. In some cases where material has been damaged by a crash, we can fix the stock. Then we can target that specific area to remachine. In Fusion 360, start by sketching an outline that we want to remachine. This sketch outline will be used to constrain the toolpath. Next, we want to edit the toolpath, then select Geometry tab. In the machine boundary, select the sketch. Click OK to generate the toolpath. Now we can resume machining the added stock and complete the repair. This is footage of repairing stock using a constrained toolpath. I hope these methods have been helpful. Thanks for watching and take care.